Well, hello again from Kingston. Sunny right now, wasn't that way all week. And behind me, you can see that Bar Construction have now arrived to take serious charge of the West End. All that and more news, and don't forget the wildlife. Thanks for watching. On Wednesday, in a move highly anticipated since their visit last week, Bar Construction arrived on the West End. Next morning, their hydro excavator was hard at work in what used to be the West Laydown. As the week progressed and deliveries began, it could be seen that it would once again play a valuable part in storage. There were deliveries on Thursday elsewhere, too. Work has continued steadily this week on the west abutment and the green wall with the barrier wall being braced to receive its concrete. It may also be that we can expect a concrete pour on the expansion joint at the west abutment before long. Meanwhile, on the east end this week, Tomlinson's team have been very busy. Initially, removing the temporary asphalt sidewalks on the Gore Road Highway 15 intersections. This work continued even on Tuesday when the weather took a turn for the worse. Next morning, Wednesday, the accumulated asphalt was trucked away. By that time, work had already commenced up on Gore Road to lay gravel on what will be the final sidewalks. To assist in this process, Tomlinson brought back an old friend, the front loader. It would be very busy for the remainder of the week. Regular deliveries of gravel nearby on the east abutment have ensured that progress was made steadily throughout the week. And a stage had been reached towards the end of the week when compaction was beginning and the vibrator roller was actually employed. Survey confirms at every stage that everything is in place and remains there. But the jewel in this week's work crown must undoubtedly be the completion of a major concrete pour on the steel span. A pumper truck from Belli Concrete, a newcomer to the site, was serviced steadily by a stream of trucks from CBM Concrete. The whole business on Wednesday benefited from near-perfect conditions, sandwiched between a cold and snowy Tuesday and a very wet and windy Thursday. This long shot gives you a very good idea just how many people are involved. And here you can see just how busy spans 21 and 22 were this week. Of course, no concrete delivery is truly over until the ready-mix truck has had the barrel and all its parts thoroughly rinsed. 
And have you wondered just how lucky we were with the weather? Here's what the workforce faced on the West End on Tuesday and on the East End. And before we go to wildlife, if you ever wondered just what things look like under the concrete spans, here's your answer. Of course, some features are temporary. Well, there you have it. Another week in the bag. One week closer to completion. You'll be driving the bridge for your Christmas shopping. Please, if you don't already do so, consider subscribing. It really helps. And see you next week. Bye for now.